This video is dealing with the new Everse 8. I've done a number of videos on it. I'm continuing to do some testing with different kinds, speaker matching. So um, it's an eight inch PA, small PA speaker, battery powered. And if you've watched my past video, I like to pair these small tops with subwoofers. It really needs it. So this is a lightweight solution. And there is no battery powered subwoofer that right now that I want to purchase. I know there's um, the elect there's a couple out there, but um, each one has some um, downside that I'm I haven't pulled the trigger on any battery powered subwoofer yet. If you want to ask uh, why, you can ask in the comments. Anyway, so I'm rigging something up today. It's very similar to another video I did before, and that was with the Bose S1 Pro top. Except now I'm substituting the EV Everse top, which I like better with more power, and that is I'm using the LD Maui 5 Go, which is a battery powered unit. It's no longer made anymore. Oh, actually, I'm not sure about that. It might be made still. And I'm using it strictly as a subwoofer, battery powered, matching with the battery powered EV. And so what's missing here is the top, the top column. So I'm using only the low end. And it's really nice. I'm able to adjust the low end for on the subwoofer unit. I'll show you that in a little while. And so this is an interesting little solution. If the Maui 5 Go is available, I believe it's $1,000. So it, it's not a cheap solution if you're trying to do this. To, but um, if you, I mainly am making this for people that if you already have the Maui 5 Go, this could be an interesting solution. So let me show you how I'm running it today. So this is the PreSonus micro station. And when you see the red, that means the subwoofer is muted. The subwoofer is being run from the micro. It's a Bluetooth station. And so I have the top running from one input and the subwoofer from the other. So they're separated. So when you see the red, it, the sub is muted. And when I press it, it now the subwoofer is engaged. I can also mute the whole system, but I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. And that's it. Let me play a tune. Uh, this micro station is uh, very quiet. I, I bought it after recommendation on, I forgot the guy's name online, but he was some kind of electrical, electrical engineer and he tested it with special equipment and he said it was super quiet and I can agree. It's really nice. You have this very smooth master volume and of course, on your phone, you can control it. You don't have to be tied to the wires. You can set this master volume and then you can walk around with your phone. So it's a nice little setup, but I especially like the fact that I can mute the sub. I can unmute it, mute it. And it just, it's a, it's a really nice way to tell if you have too much bass or too little bass. So here we go. I'm going to play a demo track. Here's the back of the Maui. I forgot to mention uh, the Maui is, without the top column, what you see here, is 25 pounds. So there is no other subwoofer on the market for 25 pounds. I think the closest, and I've done a video about this one too, is the Fishman um, 300 sub. That's 27 pounds, or some places say it's 30. I'm not sure what it is. But this is, this is pretty good sounding, the Maui 5 Go bass. Here is your subwoofer control. Nice, you can dial it up or down how you like it, blend it with the with the top speaker. And this is something I really like about the Maui 5 Go. I mentioned this in the past too, and that is it has this battery indicator lights that are very visible. And you just press it and you can see that I have a full charge here. In comparison, the EV Everse 8, it has like a little bar graph kind of goes up and down, the, but I really like the Maui 5, very visible battery indicator. Of course, I like it better if it was digital and give me an exact readout. That's the best in my opinion. I know a lot of people are gonna ask me about the other two battery powered subwoofers I mentioned, so I might as well get it out of the way. Okay, so the first one is the Yorkville EXM Mobile 
battery powered subwoofer, $900. Uh, keep in mind, I've never heard this. So I'm just going by specs and I have read some comments on the web. Two eight inch woofers. Now here's the part that I hesitate about. It's a hundred watts. That is not very powerful for a subwoofer at this price, $900. Frequency response, it goes down to 47, which is eh, okay. Most um, PA Pro subwoofers go down to 40. 100, this is a good news. It says 116 dB. That's pretty loud. That's, that's good. It's a Bluetooth subwoofer and it's 30 pounds, which is also very good. The reason I hesitate about this subwoofer and the reason why I'm not going to purchase it is because it is not, the battery is not user replaceable. It's sealed and when that battery goes, you're gonna to have to bring it to a service center or you're gonna to have to ship it back to Yorkville, which is in Canada. I don't know if they have service centers in the US, they probably do, but everybody knows batteries have a certain lifetime. If you get three years out of it, that's about the average. If you get four years, you're lucky. So what's gonna happen after four years of your $900 investment when the battery goes? So that's for you as the buyer to decide. I have read some reviews. I, the, the people are saying it is a good subwoofer. But um, like I said, a deal breaker for me is that if it does not have a user replaceable battery. And I'm a little leery about that 100 watts. Just to give you an idea, another $900 subwoofer, the Bose Sub 1, which isn't battery powered, but it's over 400 watts, close to 500 watts. And the only other battery operated subwoofer available that I know about is very new, the Diamond Box Sub 8.2. Now this is pricey, $1,200. Gee, that's the price of a Bose Sub 2, but this is battery powered. So what do you get? It's Bluetooth again, it has two 8.8 inch drivers. This is double the power of the Yorkville. It's 200 watts. And the SPL is louder too. It goes up to 122, which is 122 dBs, which is also powerful. That's pretty good figures, specs. But this is a downside in my book. It's 38 pounds. So the, the Bose Sub 1 is 36 pounds. So this is not a light portable unit. It's getting heavy already, but again, compared to the Bose, which is less money, $900 again, uh, this has internal battery. But here goes the same deal breaker in my book. The battery is not user replaceable. So in four years or three years, if you're lucky, I'm sorry, four years, if you're lucky, or three years, you're going to have to replace the battery and you're going to have to go through Diamond Box and you probably have to ship it to them. This is an American company, but shipping is expensive. And I'm sure they're not gonna, you know, when you ship something for 30, close to 40 pounds, they're not gonna cover the shipping. It's gonna cost you. So again, it's interesting, but to me, it's a deal breaker. So what I've been doing, if I need this kind of power, is I've been using something like a Bose Sub 1 with external battery power. And it's very manageable, but of course the external battery power is a couple hundred dollars more. If you would like more information how I run the Bose Sub 1, uh, give me some comments and I'll get back to you. Before I play that track, I forgot to mention that the micro station is also battery powered. I'm running it off of this little uh, small battery pack. So no AC in this system at all, which is kind of nice. Very. That's what I like. Battery powered mobile PA systems. Pick up and go.
Max DB 101.3. And I don't know if you notice it or not, but there was a little flashing white light on the Everse. And that is your clip light, which I really like. I've mentioned that also in past videos that it has a clip light that many other speakers don't have. And I backed it off slightly, but other people have researched it. I think someone even called EV and EV says, when you see the clip light, you have another 6 dB of headroom before you even have to worry about damaging the speaker. But I always like to back it off on any kind of clipping. And I, to tell you the truth, I don't usually listen at 101 dB. It's not so great for your ears. I usually listen at about 90 dB and below. So it sounded real nice, really clean. Uh, again, unfortunately with YouTube, uh, bass is not very well recorded, especially with the uh, iPhone I'm using to make these videos. Uh, YouTube still hasn't paid me a penny yet. I think they're about to. That's why you're starting to see some commercials. And I guess I'm supposed to say, um, please hit the like button and subscribe, but I don't like doing that, but I did it anyhow. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video, very short, but again, the EV Everse 8 is my number one portable PA speaker. That's why I've made so many uh, videos about it, and I'm going to be continuing to try to match it up with other combinations of speakers I have, definitely subwoofers, but I really like the fact that this is a battery system. Uh, you cannot find a very good battery P uh, subwoofer right now. I'm still waiting for QSC or... Uh, Bose or someone, a top brand to make one because the, the, the couple of companies that have made them, um, I'm not ready to purchase those for, for whatever reasons. Okay, hope you enjoy this one. Later.